Thief is a game that I think should be copied more by other studios. So take notes, guys. The game is, as you would expect, a game of stealing, and having no experience stealing whatsoever, or so I should say as to avoid self-incrimination, it seems pretty accurate. You can pick locks on doors, open chests of loot, open windows with a crowbar, disarm traps, remove road signs, open gates to get into airlocks, pickpocket guards. I mean, it really made me feel like a thief, is what I'm trying to say here. But it was the story that made the game feel special to me. From the start, Garrett feels like a human being. He doesn't want to kill people, he just wants their stuff. But he feels emotions like a person. He experiences a loss and betrayal. And this is all told through these beautifully animated cutscenes the whole way through. It gives the game this cinematic feel. The game is repetitive, but it's fast the way that you glide across buildings and climb rooftops. Chase sequences are a rush, and the challenges are quick puzzles rather than having to whittle down health bars for half a day. The game goes by in a matter of minutes, and before you know it, you have 13 hours in the game. And what was crazy to me was that the game was fun without even killing any of the NPCs. I finished the entire game without seeing a single kill animation, because it doesn't rely on that to make the game fun. The many mechanics and the variety of tools at your disposal create a plethora of possibilities to succeed each mission, and the game is willing to sacrifice realism for the sake of fun. My personal favorite mission starts you off sneaking into the house of an architect, which leads into this puzzle segment where you can take as much time as you want to solve it, but it creates the illusion that you're on a crunch for time because of the guard yelling at you from outside the door. Theodore Eastwick, servant of the lion, by order of the Baron himself, Elias Northcrest, you are to present yourself to his watch. Upon completion of the diagram, the house starts to fall apart, and you gotta jump out the window, you're getting chased by guards, the whole city is falling apart, and you gotta go under the bridges as they're burning and collapsing, dodging and dashing all over the place. The whole mission is so fast, and after it's over, you're shown how much treasure you left behind, as well as the option to instantly replay it to go back and collect it. It gives players ample opportunity to see everything that it has to offer, and there is a lot. In my 13 hours playing Thief, I only played the story missions and explored the bare minimum of this game's open world or side missions. So for me, the game's story somewhat fell off towards the end, because the main storyline seems to involve some elements of the side quests where you'll get to know the other characters, but I just happened to speedrun straight past all of these. By the end, I was kind of disconnected from the narrative, and was really in it for the unique layouts and puzzles of each mission, which still made it worth getting through to the end. I mean, there was one part where there was just all these scenes of people having actual sex in a brothel, but as you're spying through the walls, there are symbols in each of the rooms that you need to find to finish the puzzle. When even porn is made into a gameplay element, then you know you are playing a legendary game. However, the game's finale was more confusing than anything, and I honestly couldn't spoil it if I wanted to, because I genuinely do not know what happened. Thief as a stealth game seems far more successful than Assassin's Creed. It doesn't need flashy animations or massive quantities of murder to make the game interesting. Where Assassin's Creed says, push this button to kill someone, Thief says, shoot a rope arrow into a wood plank to climb onto that, onto the rafters, and climb through the vents to get around them. Thief perfects stealth games by turning what is mundane into a puzzle with multiple solutions using the tools at your disposal. 4 out of 7.